Good afternoon and what is a cool, bright and sunny day. It is Thursday the 13th of October. I've got a nice hot cup of tea. I've got a cat who is not ours sat on my lap. And a package to continue unboxing. And inside I have this lot, which is a large pile of scenarios for Old School Essentials, a uh, basic Dungeons and Dragons retro clone. Now pulling these out, uh, I have already looked at um, Horse of the Blood King, Hole in the Oak, uh, Incandescent Grottos, um, Holy Mountain Shaker, uh, and the last one in here is the Isle of the Plantagenet Mage. Um, now all of these scenarios are for the role-playing game uh, old School Essentials, um, but will work with any um, retro clone or can be easily adapted. Uh, but no, Old School Essentials is uh, a version of basic Dungeons and Dragons, uh, but it's, it's uh, based upon the uh, version that was published in 1980-81 by Tom Moldvay and Stephen R. Marsh, uh, known as the Moldvay or BX version. Uh, and Necrotic Gnome has taken that as the basics for um, its game and turned that into a really lovely accessible book with everything as far as it can placed onto uh, two-page spreads so your character class fighter two-page spread cleric to um two-page spread explaining spell casting and so on uh combat etc two-page spread and the like so uh but it has published a there are any number of uh third party um scenarios available for old school essentials because it's a popular retro clone uh, but these are the official ones um, uh, so this is old school essentials official adventure scenario the isle of the plantagenet mage so the the isle of the plantagenet mage and it did it cove harbors uh, deep secrets magic and, and sounds are entwined harmoniously while dark things lurking in the depths rise to explore new avenues through previously locked portals. Adventures will be changed as they explore the depths of the Undertower, unlock strange musical puzzles and reveal the glorious treasures of the Isle of the Plant... Um, well, sorry, it's, it's Plangent Mage, not Plantagenet. Um, foolish me. Um, so, nice looking book, solid little hardback, and we open up um, and we have an overview of the dungeon. So, Caves on the Coast, Shadowed Cove, Dark Isle Island, and the Undertower... Um, and basically, side view, cross view. Um, okay, show you properly, and then uh, quick uh, contents page or index, but um, sorry, uh, to, uh, credits page, and then we have the table of in the, the table of contents and the introduction. Uh, and this is an adventure for levels three to five. Explains what the adventure is about. Um, and the campaign setting or essentially where it can be placed so quick short piece of advice there um, and then we have an adventure overview as to what's going on with setius the plangent uh, cassandra the undertower and the night trawler the resounding assembly and so on and reasons for the player characters to want to visit dark um uh, dark sand island um straight away uh, we get into Imbrick, the village by the sea. So there's the local starting location, to a sort of like you know term from which all adventures kind of spring. A nearby village, that sort of thing. Um, we've got tables of rumours. We've got a treasure table in the adventure. So random things that can be found, as well as random happenings in uh, the wilderness and then uh, in the dark tower. In, in dark tower. Sorry, under tower. Uh, oceanic mutations, and then we get into the actual descriptions and layer uh, and sort of like details of, of, of the actual sort of like adventure sites. So, as you can see, this is detailing the caves on the coast, and you can see there's an excerpt from the map there. So, if I, if I take you can see that, and then I flip back to uh, the main map in the inside the front cover, it takes an, an excerpt from there. So you don't really need to. You, you have the map there, but pleasingly, you don't need don't need to flip back and forth unnecessarily. 
and then it's going to continue doing this throughout so the next thing we have beyond that is you know the carcass crawler list the ancient booty um all working your way through deeper into these caves uh and we have the then we have the area descriptions of dark sand isle um just to, sort of like an open essentially um, there we go um but, uh, so the page we've got the coral lighthouse and cabins and some strange underwater creature there uh, haunted lighthouse got a boat dock small islands uh, under tower entrance it's all leading down further into the depths uh, and here we have uh, an overview of the under tower itself and then individual levels going down So this this is really nice accessible. Uh, I mean, I've like I've liked the way that the publisher has done this on all of this series of booklets. These scenarios. Um, then we get to level two. We have a hammerhead spawn cave uh, with a quite a weird encounter. And almost a leaping uh, sh um, water leaping shark, um, flying shark. Anyone? Level three. So this is inverting um, the sort of like traditional idea of the of, of, of the tower, you know, working your way down rather than up, um, and that always it sort of like you know slightly confounds players um, because it, it's a, it, you're going against um, what the tower is meant to do, almost against the word. It's meant to tower. Um, but, uh, so here we have a description of level three, level four. Uh, we'll get down to um, level five. That's, a, that's not as well placed as it should be, but you know it's possible. Even level six, where we have yet more of these strange underwater mutated creatures, um, uh, fish with uh, fish and shark with legs. I mean, basically, we have a, a, a shark there with both arms, tentacles, and legs. Uh, never mind the uh, you know your land shark or your bluelet or uh, you know a sand shark. Uh, um, there is a, there is always um, something worse, uh, and arguably that covers that covers it. Um, right here, here we get to the face of the undead, and then we've got you know, basically some kind of uh, leech-like caterpillar creature. Uh, well, not caterpillar, but you know, something like that. At uh, uh, level, level seven down below, so going deeper and deeper um, before we get to level two. Level eight, the end of the dungeon, I believe, um, and some kind of warp, weird angler style fish. Um, Bringing that to a conclu conclusion, and uh, they uh, w unlike this, the, the other sort of scenarios in the series, what what they normally do is you've got um, let's just, let's just see incandescent grotto. So you've got a map there, and then typically um, they will have um, a table of random happenings in the back. Uh, this, in fact goes in for a more classic style where you have all of the maps presented um, in the end papers so you've got a sort of dungeon overview with the island and then the actual locations going down um, of the undertower so that's Isle of the Plangent Mage for Old School Essentials published by Necrotic, Necrotic Gnome um, which uh, I said an adventure designed for levels 3 to 5 and it would be in fact, um, an entertaining adventure to play um, uh, these have all come off the old, what, previous Old School Essentials Kickstarter, um, all the last stretch goals. So yeah, um, worth tracking down because these are really lovely books, as you can see. Uh, you know, great cartography, and you know, just generally fantastic artwork um, in the main. Anyway, so. Uh, Thank you for watching another unboxing in the nook. If you've enjoyed this, then please do click on the like button down below. 
And if you've got any comments or feedback, I appreciate you taking the time to post those. And lastly, if you want to be alerted to yet more unboxes in the loop where you'll see me out here with a parcel containing um, a book or game which I'll talk about to the best extent of my knowledge for roughly 10 minutes or so. All of course are going to be by a nice hot cup of tea. Sadly, Cat, who's not ours, has gone for a walk. Um, then please do hit that subscribe button. Thanks again for watching another unboxing in the Nook video. I'll be back again soon with another one. Bye for now.